Greetings YouTube. Today I'll be linking to an article um, on the Slacktivist um, from uh, Rick, uh, Father Fred, Car Fred Clark, and it discusses uh, Michelle uh, Bachman and one Reverend uh, Rick Warren. Now, in this particular piece about uh, Rep Representative Michelle Bachman, she is attempting to repeal the Affordable Care Act, and this is, I believe, the 39th attempt to do this. Um, and this is quoting her in this line. It says, let's love people, Representative uh, Michelle Bachman says. Let's care about people. So I'm going to give you a little information about the act that she's attempting to, uh, to repeal um, out of her, her love uh, for humanity. Uh, while the main coverage expansion provides will go into effect in 2014, the ACA has so far saved seniors over $60 billion on prescription drugs and reduced adm administration overhead, deterred uh, private insurers from requesting double-digit premium increases, kept millions of young people on their parents' health care plans until age 26, and provided uh, 34.1 million Amer people with Medicare uh, preventative services without additional cost sharing. Moments after calling for the complete repeal of a law that will extend health care coverage to 30 million Americans, Mockman claimed that her belief in Christ inspired her to care for the least of those who are in our midst. All right, and it goes on. Uh, Bachman, in other words, is arguing that we should love seniors, quote, transferring $6 billion from their pockets into the hot coffers of pharmaceutical companies and by denying 34.1 million of them access to preventable health care, uh, preventative health care. She wants us to love working people by charging them higher premiums for health insurance. And she wants us to love millions of young adults by kicking them off their parents' insurance plans. Can you just feel the love? So this representative, remember, this is an elected official in Congress, wants to help America and Americans by taking money out of the pockets of the 99 and putting it into the pockets of the 1%. That's supposed to be her version of love. Channel more of our wealth into the pockets of people who are already obscenely wealthy. And in the process, financially crippling people who can't afford these medical procedures or just simply denying them. Sorry, you don't get medical coverage because you can't afford it. And according to her, out of love... The American people don't care if you don't have coverage. Um, this woman doesn't seem to have a grasp of the word love. If I may quote Aniko Motoyo, I don't think that word means what you think it means. Um, and then we have something coming from, uh, who is it? Yes, Reverend Rick Warren, who has a congregation of sub 25,000 people, which is stuns me that you can have a congregation of 25,000 people when the only functional relationship between two people that you can actually have on this in, in, in a theistic uh, manner is one-to-one -one tutoring. So he's either lying to 24,999 or he's just a failure. But he tweeted something saying, Planned Parenthood is the McDonald's of abortion. It's the number one baby-killing franchise. Well. He'd be wrong, again, in the fact that Planned Parenthood does provide abortions. Not all branches do this. Some of the branches do. And the abortions they provide constitute 3% of the services. Three. One, two, three. Of the services they provide American women. So 97% of what the Planned Parenthood does as an organization in its entirety, and not all branches provide abortions, um, is nothing to do with abortion. It's to do with contraception. It's to do with preventative uh, care when it comes to the gynecological uh, needs of women. It comes to planning pregnancies, making sure that the person has the right kind of nutritional uh, supplements and things to make sure that when they get pregnant that their pregnancy is going to go to term and their child is going to be healthy when it is delivered. That's why it's called planned parenthood. They are supposed to be planning what they want to do, which is the way you're supposed to have children. Not, whoops! No, you're supposed to plan them. That's the best way to do it. That's the responsible way to do it. And that's what planned parenthood helps Americans achieve. 
He'd also be wrong in saying that they are baby killing because abortions remove fetuses. And fetuses aren't legally human beings. I know that there are those who will argue with me on that one, and you're welcome to. Um, but a fetus is the an extension of a woman's body. And since it's her body, she gets to decide what happens to that body. The only uterus you get to have any control over, folks, is the one you possess. That's it. You don't possess uterus, you don't get a say in the matter. And yes, I know there are people who are going to get upset about that. And I apologize for the prediction. I know that it will has, has big guns upset. But I'm just relying, making this statement relying on past experience. But unless you have a uterus, you don't get to make that call. I saw something recently on a, on a FARC thread. Now, FARC is often a lot of noise to signal ratio. But someone was discussing this particular fact that there were like, you know, I think it's like they said that in one year there were 300,000 uh, abortions in America. Could be, I didn't know, didn't know what the data is on that particular discussion. But someone's comment was, it says, and that's 300,000 instances of me not involved at all. It's none of my business. And that's the truth. If it isn't your fetus, it isn't your business. Uh, I know that hurts some people. But the medical decisions I make aren't your business. Medical decisions you make aren't my business. And if we start saying, telling women that it is someone else's business, we are telling those women they are not fully autonomous human beings. That they do not have control over their own bodies. And that, to me, is immoral. And it should be illegal. Um, and I find it morally reprehensible that there are Americans who are trying to make the act of deciding what is and isn't right for yourself when it comes to your medical decisions illegal. Or putting so many hurdles in the path that effectively it becomes impossible. So there you have, folks. There you have for care and love coming out of the social conservatives of America. Um, I don't think they have an understanding of either what, either those words. They don't grasp what care and love mean. They don't grasp where they have no business sticking their nose into the medical decisions of another American. But I know. I'm just a, a radical progressive.